हे हाय हेलो एवरीवन आई एम वर्षा एंड वेलकम टू द क्यू ए वर्ल्ड इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे आई केम विद द मैनुअल टेस्टिंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड बेसिकली दीज आर द बेसिक पिलर ऑफ द मैनुअल टेस्टिंग लाइक एच टी एल सी वॉट इज द कंपोनेंट ऑफ एच टी एल सी सो दीज आर द इनिशियल लेवल थिंग्स दैट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इन मैनुअल टेस्टिंग so based on that we complete the process of uh, software testing we complete the uh, testing phases so we'll discuss in uh, session and uh, i'll explain you one by one like what is the functional testing also what is the type of functional testing what is the non functional testing and what is the requirement of non functional testing to any uh, application so yeah let's start uh, i'm sharing my screen yeah so i'm sharing my screen and uh, this is a manual testing interview question so this is for manual tester and automation both like if you are also applying for automation testing so it is a basic thing that you should aware about like what is the main pillars of manual testing because sometimes you got a, a manual opportunities also or like if you require in your project if requirement is for manual testing also then you have to perform as a manual tester so the first question is like what is stlc and explain the different phases of stlc uh, actually it stands for software testing life cycle and it is a procedure of software testing so in, inside the stlc there is a multiple phases which we have to cover one by one so once all the testing phases are covered then we are make sure like our software is ready to de deliver so like let's uh, uh, check what are the phases in stlc first is requirement analysis uh, that is the brd or prd what we are getting from our uh, business perspective and uh, based on that we are uh, planning for the test uh, so second one is test planning and third one is test cases development we are where we are writing the test cases by using test rail or zypher tool there is a, so many tools are available in market so what uh, it depends like what your organization are using and after that test environment set up like what exactly application version you have to use what is the build you are using what is the environments you are using so that is uh, thing in under the test environment set up and uh, after that uh, uh, executing the test cases so basically we are what what test case we are wrote uh, we have to execute them and observe the response after that sixth is test closer we are closing the testing activities in this phase so next one is what is rtm rtm is a stand for requirement traceability matrix and it's done in test case development phase while you are writing the test cases uh, you should have to aware like what is the exact requirements and what is the test case you have covered so basically it is a, a like a, uh, what exactly the test cases and what exactly the requirement and make sure 100% coverage of the requirement and the next thing is rtm is divided into two matrix one is forward traceability matrix and another one is backward traceability matrix so in the forward traceability matrix you have to uh, keep like uh, these are the requirement and these are the test cases and inside the backward traceability matrix we are keeping these are the test cases and these are the requirement so based on that you are uh, checking like uh, what is the uh, missing thing and what is the test case we have to add here so basically this rtm is uh, uh, done by project uh, manager so yeah and third one is what is severity and what is priority severity is the extent to which the defect can affect the software so basically we are checking the severity from the business level like how it is impacting our business or how it is impacting our application so based on that we are resolve, we are fixing this issue uh, here here is some here uh, there is some types of severity like critical major medium and low and priority is defined the order in which defect should be fixed so basically uh, whenever we uh, got some defect or we got some production defect we have to check like what is the severity and what is the priority of this defect so priority is uh, majorly checking like uh, uh, how soon we have to fix this it can be categorized uh, in three levels like low low medium and high no 
Severity is identify how it is impacting and priority is how soon it needs to be fixed. So priority is set by the developer and severity is set by the business. Okay, and after that next one is what are the different level of testing? So first one is a unit testing. This is done by basically developer. We have to knowledge coding level to perform the unit testing so that's why it's developed it's done by the developers and next one is the integration testing which we are performing using uh, api testing we can use postman tool uh, swagger uh, to performing integration testing and uh, next one is system testing where we are uh, validating our software our application end to end and last one is acceptance testing basically this user acceptance testing done by the client or end user and based on their feedback, we have to uh, modify the application if required. And after that, next is what is functional testing. So basically, functional testing is based on the business requirement. Like what exactly application we are building, what exactly software we are building, uh, what is the function of that uh, application, what is the purpose of this application, this is the business requirement. So basically, we we exactly uh, making or developing our project or de making up or developing our application in that way. Each functionality of the software application is tested by providing appropriate test input, expecting the output and comparing the actual output with the expected output. Like we are passing some uh, data, some input data and to uh, testing uh, there on, on the application and observing the response like what exactly we are respond, getting response like it is expected or like unexpected and types of functional testing like smoke testing regression testing integration testing we will uh, we will cover this uh, smoke testing or regression integration testing in my later videos uh, where i'll uh, come with examples also and proper explanation for now you can just uh, understand the term or remember the terms like what is the thing in functional testing and what is non-functional testing it verifies whether the behavior of the system is as per the requirement or not like uh, we have to check performance uh, of the application uh, our, uh, if uh, our application is able to uh, handle the load handle the uh, stress uh, uh, so that we have to check in the wrong functional testing basically it is also um, comes under the test uh, security testing and uh, basically it helps to improve the performance of the application and uh, where the self types of non functional testing is performance testing scalability testing security testing load testing I'll also cover this different kind of non-functional testing in my later videos where I'll explain uh, each and every uh, types of testing. Okay, so that's it for this video and uh, I'll come with different types of testing. What are the types in functional testing? What are the types in non-functional testing? I'll explain you. So thank you. Bye-bye. See you later.